guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something a little bit different than I normally would do, and it is a what's in my travel makeup bag. So I've been wanting to film this video for quite a while now. I've been seeing it floating around YouTube, and I just thought that it would be a fun idea because everything that I bring with me when I travel is obviously my favorite products and my ride or dies. And just kind of makeup that I use every single day and I'm comfortable traveling with. So with that being said, I'm just gonna get right into this video. So if you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and if you want to know everything that's in my makeup travel bag then just keep on watching okay so first things first this is my travel makeup bag I got this on Amazon I have no idea what it's called I'll leave it linked down below in the description box so I love this because it has a bunch of little compartments so there's like sections right there and then up here you have a little like brush holder and then a zipper pocket right here. It's really nice because it keeps things separated which I like. So there's a bunch of stuff in here so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about every single little thing in here. The first thing in here is my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is my all time favorite mascara. I use this every single day and I just love it. I've tried a bunch of mascaras and I always come back to that one. So that's the first thing in here. Then we have my primer and this is the Kanan Austin Mattifying Prime and Protect primer. This is my go-to primer that I use every single day. It's perfect for people that have oily skin and larger pores. It also has an SPF of 50 in it, which is awesome, especially because I am going to be in Vegas tomorrow. So it's going to be like 110 degrees, so I'm going to need that. Next thing I have in here is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. This is in the shade 1.15, which is actually pretty light for me right now. So I also brought my Cover Effects Custom Enhanced or Custom Cover Drops. This is the shade N70. I just put a drop of these into my foundation, mix it in, and it's like the perfect shade. The next foundation I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer. This is in the shade 228 Soft Tan. These are the only foundations that I bring anywhere that I go. They're my all-time favorite concealer, or not concealers, foundations. They're my all-time favorite foundations. I love them so much. Once again, very, very good for oily skin, and they make your face look so soft. And my makeup literally stays on all day long when I'm wearing them, so yeah. Love them so much. Then I have the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. This is the press powder in the shade Ivory. What I use this for is setting my under eyes. It makes your under eyes look so soft and it just really blurs out all of your fine lines and any pores that you have. I always just use it like right on the apples of my cheeks under my eyes and it's just beautiful. Then I have my Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighting Stick. I basically use this every single day. Anytime that you see me wearing well, actually, I always highlight around, but anytime it's like really blinding, I'm always wearing this. This is probably the most intense cream highlight that I use. I have a few of them that I switch between, but I always come back to this one just because it's so intense and vibrant. So I'm going to go to the lip products. Actually, I don't have that many, and they're all like basically the same shade, but I just wanted to run through these quick. So the first thing I'm bringing is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is an instant and long-term lip plumper. I've been using this for years. I always use this like right when I start doing my makeup, but and by the time that I'm done with my face makeup and then I can put my lipstick on, my lips are like a little bit more plumped up. It says it's a long-term lip plumper, but I can't really be the judge for that because I do have filler in my lips. So, I mean, how would I ever know if it is a long-term? Either way, I love it. Then I'm bringing my Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. I love this lip gloss so much. It's just perfect to put over anything. Then we have Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Cool Girl. I literally wear this like every single day. Such a pretty cool nude shade. And then the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Queen Bee. I wear this all the time. I love these types of colors. Then we have the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Lipstick in the shade Babe. It's just a really pretty nude and I love this formula. I'm tempted to bring all of the velvets with because they're so pretty and they just make your lips look really nice. Like they just make them look really plump. And then I have the Makeup Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 103. So I'm just bringing a bunch of nudes basically. And then this is the other, just a plain lipstick. This is the Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Safe Word. I love this shade. It is so pretty. Okay, now these two things, of course, don't fit in this, but these are just eyeshadow palettes that I bring. I'm bringing my Z palette palette and this is just my like custom made one. I have all of my favorite single shadows in here. I normally am fine with just bringing this like this is the only thing that I usually would bring. It has all my browns, has all my warm mattes my transitions, my inner corner highlight, a black, and I basically have everything that I need in this palette. I normally don't wear shimmer eyeshadows. I just feel like they don't really look that good on me. That's why basically this entire thing is matte except for this one shade and that's MAC Nylon. If you guys want me to, 
but I can list every single shade that's in here in the description box. Probably would take me a while, but I can definitely do that if you guys want me to. And then the other palette that I'm bringing is this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Of course I had to bring this because it's so beautiful and I just got it. I just want to play with it. And if I do feel like doing like all out makeup, this will definitely be the palette to do that with. I mean, look at these shades. Come on. So these are the only two eyeshadow palettes that I will be bringing. Then I have my brow pencils and I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown and then the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. But this one is a little bit more cooler tone and then this one has a little bit more warmth to it. It's a little bit darker. So I just like to switch off between like day and night and I'm weird. Then I have my Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. I say this in like all of my videos how much I love this blush. It's just one of those beautiful blushes that you can wear every single day. It has a nice sheen to it. So when it hits the apples of your cheeks, it just gives you a really nice and youthful glow. And that peach undertone is just so pretty. So I love that blush so much. And the other blush that I'm bringing is my MAC Warm Soul Blush. I just really like my natural blushes. And this one is very pretty. This one also has a sheen to it. So it is going to make your cheeks look glowy and fresh. And that is just my favorite look. So those are my two favorite blushes that I'm bringing. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I use the shade NW20. It's actually really light for me right now but I'm bringing it anyways because I like putting it on the center of my face. Normally I'm NW25 and I can wear NC25, but I don't, I like this one better. But yeah, so this is what I'll wear when I'm just in a rush. I'll just throw on some powder and that's it. I normally will not wear this when I'm doing like a full face of makeup because I use setting powder. But yeah, I'm just bringing that for the days that I'm in a rush to get ready. And then I'm bringing my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. My favorite highlighter ever, as you can tell. This is one of the only highlighters that I can wear when I'm really tan and really pale so I always bring that everywhere I go because it's just super universal for me. Then I'm bringing my Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is another one of those highlights that I use when I'm a little bit tanner. It is so stunning. Look at this. It's almost like the same shade as Chami Bob, but it's a little bit more metallic. Can you see that? Oh, I just love it so much. Then I have my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is what I prime my eyelids with every single day. It's just the perfect eyeshadow primer. It's super opaque, so it covers up all my redness and discoloration. And it just has a really nice base for any eyeshadows that you put over it. So I love that. And then I'm bringing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 0.75. This is the concealer that I use every day to carve out the underneath of my eyebrows. I can use other concealers, but I I prefer using this concealer because it's creamy and it's just very opaque and it's a lot lighter than my skin tone so it really makes my brows stand out. Then I have my House of Lashes Lash Glue. I said this in my last video I'm pretty sure that I can't even wear lashes without this glue anymore. It dries super fast and it gets super sticky. I'm bringing my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. Again I mentioned this in my last video. This is like a new product to me and I'm completely obsessed. I haven't even touched any other gel eyeliner. Since I've used this, it is the blackest eyeliner I have ever used in my life. And then for a liquid eyeliner, I'm bringing the Sephora Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner in the shade 01 Black. I use this when I'm in a rush. So anytime that I'm like actually spending my time on my makeup and I need to take a little bit extra time, I use gel eyeliner because I can use a brush with that. This is just super fast and easy, I guess. So this is what I use when I'm in a rush. Then I'm bringing just a little pair of these scissors so that I can cut my eyelashes if they're too long. My fake eyelashes, not my actual eyelashes. <laughs> and then a pair of tweezers to apply my false lashes. And then I have this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Gold Glitter. This is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. This is just the easiest form of glitter that I bring all the time with me. If I want to add a little bit of sparkle to my makeup, I just put this on my eyelid and I'm good to go. Then we have the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. You guys are probably seeing a lot of repeats of what I use in my makeup tutorials because I literally just can't get enough of this bronzer, especially for the summertime it just adds that perfect warmth to the skin and it does have a pretty strong orange undertone but it doesn't did i have lipstick on? <gasps> i've had lipstick on my teeth this whole time well anyways, it does have a pretty strong orange undertone, but it doesn't come off like super pigmented. It's a baked powder, so it is gonna look a lot more natural on the skin, and that's what I love about it. Then I have my Marc Jacobs eyeliner pencil, and this is in the shade, I think it's just called black. This is the best eyeliner for your waterline, hands down. I use this on everybody every time I freelance, and 
everybody when they see it is just like blown away. They see it and they're like, what is that? So of course I had to bring this. And then I'm bringing an eyelash curler. And then my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I like using this one in the summertime because it holds up my oil really well. And especially I am gonna be in like 110, 150 degree weather. So this is gonna be perfect for that. And then for contouring, I'm bringing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. You guys can probably tell how much I love this. This is really nice too also because you can use this shade to set your under eyes if you're in a rush. And then yeah, these two shades are just like the best shades for my skin tone to contour with. And then my very dirty beauty runner that I need to clean. <laughs> I'm also bringing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. This is in the shade Chocolate. Again, I just love running this through my brows if I'm in a rush. So a lot of things I have here are just in case I'm like rushing out of the hotel and my boyfriend like doesn't give me enough time to get ready. I also have my RCMA No Color Powder. So I don't really use this to set my face anymore. I basically only use this for baking now because it's so cheap. It's like 11 bucks, I think. You get a ton of powder, so I don't feel too bad about using a ton of it when I bake. So that's what I bring this for. I always bake underneath my contour line and I sometimes bake under my eyes. Not all the time, but when I do, I use this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna run through these brushes really quickly. I'm not gonna talk about them, but these are only my eye brushes that I'm bringing that will fit in here. I have a whole separate case that I bring my face brushes in because it's not that tall, so it kind of like crushes them and I don't want to ruin my brushes. So I'm just gonna say the names quick. This is the Sigma E06 brush. This is what I use for my winged eyeliner. The Morphe M439 brush. This is what I use for my foundation. Morphe M572 brush. This is what I bake with under my contour line. Sigma E38 blending brush. Kat Von D shade and light eye contour brush. Morphe M433. Morphe M432. The best brush free packing on shades on your waterline or on your lash line. MAC 242 brush, my favorite brush for packing on lid shades, and then the Anastasia 18 brush. This is what I use to carve out underneath my brows. Okay, and then last but not least, I have two lip liners that I'm bringing, and these are the ColourPop lippy pencils in the shade BFF, which is my favorite, and then Aquarius. That one's Aquarius, and then that one's BFF. Okay, so that's it for this video. I know this is a little bit different than I normally do, but I just really wanted to do this, and I don't know, I just, I love these types of videos. So, I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.